Hey crafty people, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd because I'm a nerd who loves to craft. Over the years I've dabbled in most types of crafting, although for the past decade or so I've been doing primarily card making and mixed media art. I've recently embarked on a junk journaling journey that I hope you'll join me on. Today we're going to be creating a soccer, or for those not in the US, football themed birthday card using the Lawn Fawn Peekaboo pop-up dies. Let's get crafting! So uh, I'm making a peekaboo pop-up card using the Lawn Fawn peekaboo pop-up card die set. Um, and to make this card you need to cut out two of the base pieces using the die and in addition to cutting out the little stitch rectangle it puts score lines in one end of the piece. Now for the piece that's going to go on top, you do a valley fold and then fold back down. So that will be the valley fold side. And then for the piece that's going in the back, it's a mountain fold, which means you fold up to create a mountain peak and then a valley fold like that. With the front piece, you need to cut out essentially your hill for creating the card. And if you do it two and three quarters of an inch up from the bottom, you'll be sure to have it high enough to cover up the mechanism for your pop-up part. Um, so I am using a lawn fawn, I think it's the grassy hillside slimline die, and I am gonna go ahead and die cut this out, and then we are going to get to inking to create the pieces for our card. So here is my um, front piece all cut out with my little grassy hillside and I'm going to pull out some distress inks and we're going to ink this. So I'm uh, grabbing mode lawn and that's what I'm going to start with and I'm going to grab a brush. Now because I've cut this out, I want to be careful not to damage my grass so I'm going to go this way for the grass. And I just used uh, regular old white cardstock for my stash, nothing um, in particular. It's either Georgia Pacific or Nina Solar White. I'm not sure which, because I've got them um, in a container together. So could be either or. Now to add just a little bit more interest, I am going to come in and add a little bit of Rustic Wilderness as well. I'm going to kind of do that closer to the bottom. And then I'm going to come back in with Mode Lawn and add a little bit more of that. Get it all nice and blended in. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to work on our back piece. And for that, I'm going to grab tumbled grass, tumbled glass, and salty ocean. So those are going to be my sky colors. I'm going to start with a tumbled glass. Now I'm going to pull Salty Ocean in and I'm going to start off the edges because it's a very bright blue, which is why I like using it with my skies. I'm 
probably should have done my inking before I folded on the score lines, but I was kind of doing a test. And I'm going to come back in again with some tumbled glass for the middle again and just kind of blend it a little bit more. And I forgot to ink my the mechanism that we're going to use for the pop-up part while I had the green out. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we're all inked, I am going to take a little bit of water and splatter it on. And I'm just going to put a little in my hand and use my fingers to kind of flick water on. And give it a second and then I'm gonna take a cloth and blot it up and it's just given a little bit more interest since this is distress ink don't know how well you can see on the screen but it just adds some little speckles of lighter spots on our sky and adds just a little bit more interest I'm gonna do the same thing with our grass and it just adds a little bit more texture to the piece. Now we are going to assemble the base part and we're gonna start by attaching this piece. We're gonna add glue just to up to this score line here and attach it over here. So I'm going to take my Barely Arts glue because that gives me a little bit more wiggle time and use that. You, of course, could use um, tape runner or glue stick, whatever your preferred glue is. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to line this up over here and glue it down. Just hold that down for a sec. And then we're gonna fold it open so that we can add in our mechanism. And I die cut out the medium sized mechanism and the die cuts and puts score marks in. So you've got two little triangles and for this one, we're going to fold them towards ourselves. So inward so that you get a piece that looks like this. Now I will have a link down below to the Lawn Fawn video, I'm just gonna burnish these down, that introduces this die set. So, cause they go through all the various ways you can assemble it, use it, um, the different mechanisms and how they work. So we're gonna fold that open. We are gonna put glue just on this triangle. So just on this little triangle over here is going to get glue. And then we are going to line this up underneath our grass and kind of along the edge here. Just give that a minute to dry. Then we're going to bring this piece over and on this side, we're going to fold in that side and glue this down. 
Oh, and you know what? Before we do that, I am noticing I want to ink the backside of this piece so that if any of it shows, it's not going to be white. But of course, because I've already glued it down, I'm going to need to put that in there so I don't get green on my blue. Okay, now we can go ahead and bring this piece over, fold this over so that it looks like this. And I'm gonna apply glue over here. Apply some over here just to make sure it gets glued down good. And I am just gonna grab my bone folder and make sure everything's scored down good. So when you pull, the mechanism pops up. So we're gonna attach something to that mechanism here in a minute. Um, and for these little bits of white that are showing out over here, I'm just gonna take some scissors and trim those off. Trim that off. And round that off. Now, for my front of my card, I've already gone ahead and stamped. This is a Lily of the Valley stamp. Um, and I don't think they're actually making physical stamps anymore. It's a UK based company. And I think they have an Etsy shop where you can get digitals. And I will double check on that and leave a link down below. But um, this card is for a friend's birthday and that friend likes soccer. And so even though he's a little old <laughs> for cute little teddy bear, soccer teddy bears, it, he, he's, he's used to me giving him cards with cute images on it because I've known him for years and well, I've actually used this card, this stamp in a variety of ways uh, for cards for him. I am gonna grab my Copic markers and that's how we're gonna color this. Now I found it's a lot easier to get your colors to blend if you are working on uh, something that's a little absorbent. So I've just got a scratch pad that I've put my piece on and I am gonna keep it simple for this one. We're gonna go E21, E23 and E. 25 for the bears. So I'm just going to start with my lightest color and just do a coat over the bear. I'm going to come in with E25 and just add a little bit because I don't want this, the bears to be too dark. So I'm just going to add a little bit in. And then grab my E23 and blend that out.
and because I want to keep his face a little bit lighter, I'm going to pull in some E21 and blend out the E23 up towards the front there. And I'm going to open up my E23 and touch my E21 to the marker to help kind of blend out along here. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, um, they have been working on my utility lines all day. And in fact, until about an hour and a half ago, I had no power. And it's always so fun for the power company to decide to do work on your lines during one of, if not the hottest week of the year. And so, yeah, it has been not exactly fun to be without AC all day. I live in Florida and I believe our high today was around 97 degrees uh, with a heat index that was supposed to get over 110 in places. So yeah, it was, it was not exactly a fun day today. And I'm pretty much just doing the same thing for this little bear. At one point I was out letting my dogs out and one of the workers apologized with a comment. He's like, I know it's hot, I'm, we're, we're really sorry. And I responded back to him, it's worse for you than me because they were out in the sun baking and working and oof. I do not envy those who work outside this time of year in Florida because it, it is stinking hot. Normally around about this time I'd be reaching for blue and greens because it's for a guy and those are the typical colors I go with. Uh, but the person who is getting this is a fan of Orlando City Soccer and their colors are purple and gold. <laughs> so we're going purple and gold. Um, uh, so I'm starting with V12 and I grabbed V15 and V9 to make my purple. V9 you want to be careful with because it is a very dark, intense color.
So again, I'm mostly using the technique of kissing the lighter color to the darker color because I want it on the darker purple side, but going straight on with the V09 is just gonna get too dark too quick. And then for this guy, his stripes did not stamp very well, so I'm gonna come back in with a pen and add those back in. But we're gonna just do the best we can to pick out stripes. And again, I'm just gonna pull the nine off with the 15. And I think I'm just gonna do this guy's shirt all in gold and accents in the purple. So I'm starting with my Y02. Then Y15. and Y08. And then we're gonna use eight and 15 for stripes on this one. And for this guy's accents. Gonna come back in with the V15 to do the accents on this shirt. Again, I'm gonna grab the V9 because I wanna get that a little darker and just pull some of the color off with the V15. And actually I'm gonna darken these up a little bit too. Now for the shorts, I'm just gonna stick with a gray, keeping things a little simpler. And I'm grabbing C1, C3, and C5. 
I go through as I always do and put a base of my lightest. I'm gonna add a little bit, not that one, of C5 the darkest. and blend it with my C3. I think I'm gonna bring in a little more of the C5 on this guy. I've grabbed an RV10 just to add a little bit of pink inside his ears or their ears and just a little bit on those foot pads and then come back in with the E21 and just kind of blend it in real quick. And I'm grabbing 100, which is black for the soccer balls. And their noses. And now I am going to grab my Uniball a white pen and add dots on the noses. I'm going to make sure my white pen's writing and add highlights on our noses. And there we go. I am going to fussy cut these guys out off camera and come back and we can finish assembling our card. I've gone ahead and cut everybody out. So in cutting out the soccer balls, I didn't always do a great job of being on the lines. So there's some white spots showing. So I'm just gonna come from the back with my Copic Multiliner. And this is the 0 .08. It's a pretty good size nib. And I'm gonna go along the sides and the reason you want to do this from the back is because if you slip you'll mark the back of the piece not the front and so that covered up any imperfections with my coloring or with my cutting I'm gonna go let in a dog here in a sec. Okay, so now we're ready for assembly. And what I want to do is have this little guy popping up. So I'm gonna open it up. So I want him to jump up like that. I'm gonna glue him down. I'm gonna use art glitter glue for this. I probably should have colored the piece blue so it could have him jumping up higher. 
And then I'm just gonna take scissors and trim off the excess bit that's showing above his head. So we're gonna have him popping up and I'm gonna have him popping up to try and get, hit that soccer ball. So we're gonna just, oh, it helps if I'm on screen. All right, so we've got him popping up and he's gonna be popping up to try and get that soccer ball, which I'm gonna glue down there. So we got a soccer ball flying through the air, and now we got a bear jumping up to try and get it. And we'll add him over here, and this little guy over there. So they're just having a good old practice. So let's just add these on. And of course, one dog came in, and the other dog was like, no, I want to stay outside. And now he's barking two seconds after he scratched to come in. So let's just glue this down and then I'll go take care of puppy dogs. So there is our finished card and you pull it and you got a little bear jumping up and you pull it and you got a little bear jumping up. Yeah, this could entertain me for hours. <laughs> um, so that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.